Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today I'm going to be talking about some YouTuber conspiracy theories. These are my absolute favorite because like I've said in many other videos, I don't watch TV necessarily. I just watch YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube actually and these include some of my favorite YouTubers or YouTubers that I watch on a regular basis. I just want to make a disclaimer that these are just conspiracies and in fact a couple of these conspiracies I am going to be saying that I don't actually think they're true at all. I believe that a couple of these are debunked like We've pretty much established at this point that they are just theories, nothing more. But a couple of these I actually do believe to have somewhat of truth to them because it just doesn't add up, it doesn't make any sense, and I believe that there is more to the story. But that is for you guys to decide, so be sure to leave your opinions in the comment section below, and let's get into the video. The first YouTuber or YouTuber conspiracy theory we're going to be talking about today is a guy named Ty Lopez. Many of you may know him from his viral video or ad, I should say, where he's like, Just bought this new Lamborghini, but you know what I like? more knowledge that ad went everywhere it blew up there are so many parodies out there making fun of it so many of you guys probably know him from that but other than that he's famous for being an entrepreneur millionaire success he's pretty young I think he's like in his early 30s I actually know him in real life so that may or may not be a story time one day but back to the point he blew up a big reason for that being his ads and the reason why his ads blew up so much, other than the fact that they're super cringy and like easy to make fun of, no hate to him at all. I just like, you have to admit they're hilarious. And he knows that and he markets off of it, is the fact that he bought $16 million worth of views in ad space, which means you are paying to have your ads on people's videos. That is where the conspiracy comes into play. Who in their right mind buys that much worth of ads? ads so he did that which obviously attracted him a lot of subscribers but the question is what was his real motive for doing so a lot of people say that that's because his 67 step program is a scam and he wanted to get more credibility by giving his channel more views especially with that ad on his channel again i'm not saying that he did anything wrong by buying this much ad space i'm just saying who in their right mind does that i get that you're a millionaire but like 16 million dollars that is still a lot of money even to a millionaire. Like, that's a lot of money. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. We're going to move on to our second YouTube conspiracy theory. This is one that everyone's probably heard of by now. Marina Joyce and her kidnapping conspiracy. I promise I'll get to the other ones after this, but we need to touch on this because this was crazy over the summer. I remember when this blew up, everyone was like, hashtag save Marina Joyce. So if you don't know what I'm referring to, she is a beauty vlogger out in the UK. She has well over 2 million subscribers, but before this conspiracy blew up, like around that time, she had less than a million. So, I mean, she literally blew up on the internet because of this thing going viral. And the theory was that she was kidnapped or that her boyfriend was holding her hostage. Somebody was forcing her to make YouTube videos. It sounds insane. Like when you first hear about it, you're like, there's no way this is real. But there was a lot of evidence to back this up, including subliminal messages in her YouTube videos. People were saying that she started to act different on camera, almost like her content was forced or somebody was making her film these videos. Just not really herself. Like she wasn't all there. Also in some of her videos, you could hear somebody or her whisper help. And she was doing sign language, which I, I can't do sign language, obviously, which were indicating different things. Like, for example, she was telling people to come to her meetup in a really sketchy part of the United Kingdom, and then it was at 6.30 in the morning, and then in the video she was signing, like, not to go. And then on Twitter she was saying things like, hope everyone likes pancakes, aka help, like the capital H in hope, the capital E in everyone, you get the idea. Just a lot of things like that, and we're like, girl, are you, are you trying to get us to call the police? Like, I don't know. The police actually ended up going to her house and she appeared to be fine, but people were still saying that ISIS had abducted her, that the police were lying, and then in her tweets, it was really confusing because she would like people's tweets where they were like, if you're not okay, like this tweet. A lot of people think that this was a publicity stunt. She claims that it was a publicity stunt done by her viewers, that just one thing led to another and it got really blown out of proportion. Anna Campbell, my girl, she came out with the video which is not on private but I'm pretty sure she's gonna public it again soon where she talks about how Marina Joyce may or may not be schizophrenic I have no idea not making any claims but it made a lot of sense if you guys did watch that video it got a couple million views so yeah maybe that's the case I don't really know I don't think she's kidnapped because at this point like she seems to be okay she keeps putting up videos but we're gonna move on to our third conspiracy theory which is about Tana Mojo and I actually met her and I talked about this with her and she was saying how it's like one of the most searched things involving her name on Google which is her lying about her age, her actually not being 18, her being 21, 23, whatever. I've heard about this for a while. I think by now it's sort of died down because she actually had to tweet 
her ID picture with her information blurred out, of course, so people would believe her that she wasn't lying about her age. And obviously you're thinking like, what would she gain out of lying about her age? Like, why does it matter if she's 18 or 21? I don't really know, but the fact is people say that if you have a younger audience, they're more active, like they're more likely to support you. You can relate better with like a younger audience if you are younger. Like on YouTube, if you're like 24, you're considered ancient and that's just how it is. I don't know. People think that if you're younger, you can convince your parents to buy merch, to buy tour tickets, and you're just more active on fan pages and things like that. I do have a lot of younger viewers. I mean, I call you guys my alligators for Pete's sake. So I remember in the beginning, I was getting a lot more active on Instagram than like other YouTubers, so to speak, just because of that. So like, I kind of see how that would be a thing, you know, but like, I think her audience is like really widespread at this point. But anyways, people think that she lies about her age for a few reasons. For example, she graduated online school. Like she didn't graduate with her class. Like she graduated early online school. And some people are like, oh yeah, show us the receipts. Like, did you really graduate online school? Like that's not adding up. You might've just graduated the year before and you're lying about what class you were in. So that's one reason why people think that she's actually like 21 or older. Another reason is that she participates in raving, participates, that she goes to a lot of raves and raves are so much fun. A lot of the lit raves, they're like 18 plus. EDC, for example, I believe Coachella might be, maybe not, but either way, she's been to 18 plus raves, like she has been, and she turned 18 over the summer, and she was doing that like long before she turned 18. She claims that it's because she has connections, which I'm sure she does, and on top of that, I mean, everyone has fake IDs, like, let's be real. I have been to raves, it's so easy to get in if you're not 18, like, that's just how it is. I didn't go to raves until I was 18, but still. Another reason why people say that she's lying about her age is the fact that she said she's been working since she was 14, and she's cleared this up by now, saying that she had a work permit, that's why she did that, but people were saying like, oh, actually in the state of blah, 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 you can't work until you're this age or you can't work that many hours until you're this age. And just people trying to basically prove her wrong with the law because it obviously isn't common for people to work that young. Like, I don't know, at least in America, I feel like people don't work until they're like 16-ish, unless it's like a family business or babysitting, things like that. But she was working at PacSun. So yeah, that's sort of debunking that theory that she actually is how old she says she is, which is 18 years old. And we're gonna move on to our fourth conspiracy theory, which is about Fousey Tube, Fousey Tube. I don't know if I just pronounced that right or not. Fousey Tube, he's a prank channel on YouTube. He's really popular. He has like, I don't know, 9 million subscribers or something insane like that. But anyways, this happened early 2016. You guys probably know what I'm gonna talk about. And obviously this conspiracy has been debunked at this point, but there's like more to it. I just wanna add. Many of you guys may remember when Rice Gum punched him in the face and that video went viral. And then he came out saying that it was a publicity stunt. He says that the motive behind him doing that because they were in on it together. Like they planned that whole thing out and they like were collabing together in a way to like do that was because he wanted to make a statement saying drama channels are really negative. If there's any sort of drama on the internet, it gets all the views, it gets all the attention. He's saying how that's really negative and we shouldn't be doing that because a lot of it isn't worth our time just like that. It was it was planned out, like they actually staged the fight. So obviously he exposed himself, he put it out there and everyone's like, oh, that's a good point. That video blew up, it went viral, it got so much attention. But the thing that I have to add to this is that I think it was actually like self promo for his new movie because right after that, he put out the official trailer to the movie he was in with a bunch of other big stars. So come on, like, do you think he just randomly did that? I don't know. I'm kind of 50 50 on that one. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Like it's business, it's smart, but it was just kind of too perfect timing, you know what I mean? This brings us to our fifth and final conspiracy theory. I saved this guy for last because honestly, like I feel like he's kind of the most irrelevant one at this point. And I think what he did is like the shadiest because I actually believe this happened. Like I really, really do. That is Rich Kids TV. And you guys might know where I'm going with this. And I'm gonna get really sort of ranty. I think this is super messed up if this happened. But again, it's all speculation. Like who really knows? Basically this guy, this prankster on YouTube, he said that he was holding a raffle, kind of like a giveaway, but basically you buy tickets to enter the raffle and like, you, you know what a raffle is, right? Through a PayPal link, mind you, like kind of sketchy. Each ticket that you bought was a dollar and it all accumulated to be around $100,000. That's like what people are estimating at this point. He did actually include a picture where it was like 62 or $63,000 at that point. And then the raffle went on for like another 11 days and he was trying to reach $100,000 which he most likely did. After announcing the raffle, he later came out with a video saying that legally he had to give 10% to charity. So he was like, all right guys, we're gonna give 10% to charity and then the 90% goes to the winner of the raffle. And he was saying that it was for like a Live Your Dream Foundation. He was really like, 
eh, about the charity. He didn't go into too much detail, so like, who really knows, right? Then he came out with another video saying that he was going to give 90% to charity and 10% to the winner of the raffle, which was never really publicly announced, by the way. Like, who actually won that money? I couldn't tell you. But then in that video, he refers to it as my Live Your Dream Foundation. Like, kind of switched it up there because it was going to him. Like, it was going to him. Again, this is all allegedly. I honestly don't know. I just really find this one to be really ironic how it adds up. So he switched the percentage from 10% to 90%. Then there was no known winner. And just to top it all off, he buys a brand new red Corvette. It is posting pictures in it, making videos in it. Like, where did you get that money though? You know, that one kind of speaks for itself. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys want more conspiracy theories, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. That way I know to make more like the videos with hella thumbs ups, like I make more of them. And a lot of the time it's story times, but sometimes it's other videos too. So like, let me know because these were a lot of fun and I've been wanting to film this forever. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell below. That way you get notifications, like it kind of speaks for itself. Also, if you want to follow my social media, I'm really active. So you can go ahead and do that. I follow back sometimes and I like your guys' pictures and things like that and it's just it's, it's just fun so if you want to do that that would be really cool I will link a playlist below with some other videos if you guys want to check it out or you can just go stalk my channel and I will see you guys next time later alligators bye